What's up, y'all gang? It's your boy Taxon, and welcome back to the BSD Things. And today we're going over another very exciting battle, guys. It's going to be round four and the final of our local this week. This is going to be SS4 Gogeta versus Supreme Kai of Time. But before we get into it, guys, I do want to say, if you guys are wanting custom mats and or sleeves, absolutely check out Pro Mats, guys. This is the best place to go get your custom card needs. And if you do decide to get a mat from them, make sure you guys use the promo code YEP to save on your entire order. With that being said, if you guys enjoyed this battle or my content in general, remember to hit all those buttons for me, like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell so you never miss a video. And with that being said, let's turn it around and dive in. Alrighty, you guys, and here we are with the final of our local this week. We have SS4 Gogeta on the right side versus Kai on the left. Kai starting off this game by charging an energy for us and then passing turn over to Gogeta. Gogeta starting by drawing, charging, and then proceeding into activating the effect of this SS4 Vegeta, going through the deck in order to find a Goku with an energy cost or power of 20,000. Looks like here we are finding the combo version. And then from there we are probably passing turn in order to make sure that Kai doesn't have an extra card in his hand to uh, proceed to push our face in with. Kai going into turn two here. Charging himself a Goku. Swinging with his leader, he gets a burst three and then draw one. That damage does go through. Of course, now we do see an overwhelm. This is the Trunks, Big Boy Trunks comes out to draw two and then warp one from his hand and then we see the pay one effect for Goten to come out. Goten comes out from hand and he draws a card as well, he's a 25k double strike. Swinging 15k at the leader. From here we do decide to combo out of this attack with the Goku because uh, the double strike is going to be a little bit more cards from hand in order to survive so probably just going to take the double strike here. Paying one for the max Saiyan, out comes the 20k crit. That crit does go through, we'll see if he decides to swing with the double strike here or not. Double strike going in, that damage is dealt. Of course, 25k double strike on turn two with one energy active is pretty hard to uh, survive there. Here we are going to energy to go into the unison, of course, plusing two on it in order to play a body. The body comes out to draw a card, swinging with the unison here. Probably directed at the board, I'd imagine. We're swinging at the 20, yep, swinging at the max Saiyan here. Comboing, a battle, comboing that battle card in order to draw a card and then use the leader effect to look at the top three. The top three does provide us a Vegeta to grab. Of course, this is the 15k critical boy. That does go to the uh, Z energy and then we can awaken the leader regardless of life condition or Z energy. And then now we do swing with the leader into the, I believe it's the battle card again. We shall see. So we draw a card. And do we play a card? That's the real question here. So we're up to 20 now. All we gotta do is add a 5k to force Kai in order to, uh, and force a 5k out of Kai's hand in order to keep it alive. Sorry for stumbling over my words there. So there we do go up to 25. It looks like Kai does let the Gohan, or yeah, Goten go. And then from there, we do see Gogeta pass turn over turn to turn three for Kai here. Kai still not seeing his unison, so this is a little bit unfortunate. Not the normal play style that Kai would uh, offer. So definitely having, especially going against uh, SS4 Gogeta, a little bit harder matchup. Definitely, hey, nice. We do into the unison here. So now we do get to start out outputting higher amounts of damage per turn. And so it looks like we're starting off with the Overrealm 3 Trunks Regulator. Draw 2, Warp 1. Of course, now that does trigger the unison to burst one. We forgot to do that there. And there, he did call it to me. He said, I forgot to hit my burst. And I, yeah, it is just the locals. We are all friendly at the locals. We're not worried about small missed timings like that. We all learn. Uh, so here we're starting off by swinging for 15.
Looks like we're not going to swing the 15. Instead, we are going to uptick the unison first and then use the top 5 search for the Goku Zeno in order to look for another Zeno, Goku, or Vegeta card. Looks like we are grabbing out the Beyond All Limits. Very good grab there. Here we are proceeding to swing with the time regulator. Of course, this is just a 15k attack, so it's more, more or less just a poke, try to get a card out of a hand, which it did work, forcing a card from Gogeta's hand. It does fuel his energy a little bit, though. From here, it does look like we are prepping another Overwhelm 6. Yep, going in for Overwhelm 5, I believe this card is, and he's a critical draw card, and then, of course, tagged along with the leader, draw another card, and move three cards from the warp to the drop area. Uh, definitely forgot to finish the rest of that effect there, but that is fine. Of course, having to find a way to deal with the Gohan that just dealt with his Overrealm while at the same time still allowing himself to swing for a 20k crit. Very powerful card that Max Saiyan is. Um, so at the end of the turn, the Gohan will come back, but it is a full turn rotation without that card in play, which is very, very powerful. It is a blocker, so it could have stopped an attack, while at the same time it is a double striker, so it could have been a very powerful attack. So using Max Saiyan on that card is very, very solid. Starting off the turn here by charging an energy, of course, and then using the uptick on the units in order to play out a body that draws a card. We are swinging at one of his bodies, comboing out, Z-charging, and then from here we'll probably more than likely see the leader at swing into the 15k. So we get our leader auto to draw and then play a body, of course, that body of course draws, then we combo in, of course, that body draws again. Probably deciding here just to chill at the 20. Force Kai to deal with a clean board state every single turn. Oh, looks like we were swinging into the life pool there. Uh, a little bit of a misplay, but it is all right. It looks like we were planning on playing rush attack, which means that we're getting rid of that card with an effect anyways. We'll see what, we, uh, what Kai decides to do in order to stop this from going through. So it looks like we're using Petrification, very powerful card here, very great idea in order to stop his attack because yet we don't get to activate the effect of Rush Attack to make him a dual attack, Double Striker, while at the same time we also don't get the auto in order to minus out that uh, Trunks Time Regulator in the field, so definitely kept himself a little board stay while at the same time protecting himself from two swings with that, uh, with that negate there, very powerful, very great choice in my opinion. Starting off his turn by swinging with that Time Regulator. I'm going to probably hear bait out uh, King Vegeta's imposing presence, if anything. SS4 Gogeta debating on if it's worth taking the life or not. Looks like we do go ahead and give him the 5k combo in order to keep that life in play here. Looks like we do swing with the leader next. Of course, we're going to use the Gohan blocker because the way... Uh, the way Supreme Kai can so easily just remove your battle area, you want to utilize your blockers as quick as possible because they will get dealt with in terms of things like Mag San or even his secret rare if he decides to do something that crazy. So we shall see what he d decides to do here. It does look like he's uh, decided to not charge this turn as well, guys. Uh, very spicy tech in case you guys don't know against Gogeta if you're playing uh, the Shen Noble Supremacy if they're going into their turn 4 and you started before them if you skip charge you can still use your uh, Shen Noble Supremacy as long as you are at 3 energy unfortunately it doesn't look like he's drawn it yet probably just hoping that he does draw before having to end his turn uh, starting off with the Overrealm 6 here going into Trunks dual attacker of course proccing his leader auto to draw a card moving couple cards from the warp to the drop area and then bursting one with the unison very powerful burst there hitting a koizakai uh and it does stop quite a few things in red people think that koizakai isn't good against red but in reality koizakai is just good against every single deck because every single deck runs things like uh the token blocker and the token blocker is just absolutely crazy uh, of course now red has things like gohan that's also under uh koizakai things like that so you definitely have to worry about those cards as well as arrival pieces because I activate battle cards in Gogeta still are 20k or less cards that you can arrival on your opponent's turn. So it definitely turns off quite a few things. Um, with that being said, continuing the turn, of course, swinging two times with the trunks into the unison, 
we didn't get the full restand because when he swung the first time to get that auto and combo, I kind of assumed he was just going to dump both attacks into the unison to get him below the minus four ability so he didn't have to deal with that. So over there, we just seen a Z he swing. Is It looked like he just swung one time, but then he Z charged two. But re in reality, we knocked two markers off the unison and did the full iteration in that one instance. Um, proceeding on with his turn, we're going one energy here and one two Z energy or one Z energy. I can't remember how much it costs, but we're going into Pan. Pan, of course, a very, very powerful card, warping any card on field as long as it doesn't have protection, and then, of course, providing a 15k attacker while at the same time the auto to replenish a life if you decide to use your leader effect. Very, very, very strong card. Uh, not much else to say about it. Um, swinging, got rid of the Gohan, swing in for 15k, got a card out of Gogeta's hand, and then proceeds into Beyond All Limits. Very powerful, and then of course Beyond All Limits grabbing back Max Saiyan. Very strong combo there because he is between the cost of 3 and 7. Swinging for 30k, of course, that does get rid of that. And then of course we come out with Max Saiyan. Max Saiyan does warp the rush attack Vegeta. He gets removed from game, and then swinging for the 20k crit. That does bait a super combo out of the hand of Gogeta. And then we proceed to use the leader effect in order to crit a life, and then Pan will replace it, and then we pass turn over to Gogeta. Unfortunately, not seeing our Shin Noble Supremacy before going into turn 4 for Gogeta. Very unfortunate. Uh, so we will have to deal with that uh, body. We shall see. So it looks like we're going directly into it. Pitching the two copies, drawing a card, playing the dude. Leader effect, giving it Gogeta. We're just going to rapidly rest that thing and get rid of the board. And then swing our final time into the leader card. Of course, we don't get no combos, no negates, nothing like that. We just go directly into our opponent's combo phase where they get to get out of a 35 triple strike, which is uh, pretty rough, especially since Kai is already at 3 life. He does end up getting out of that while Z charging one. The rest go to the drop area. We're swinging with the units and next, of course, that does get negated. Swinging with the leader, that does get blocked. And then, of course, we're going to combo out the body that was in the field before it gets removed at the end of the turn to get that draw. And then from there... The turn is passed over to Kai. We did we did exactly what Gojima wants to do on that turn. Uh, definitely got quite a few super combos out of his hand, so we'll see if it was viable enough to say, uh, get the game. Uh, because, of course, now we do have our unison play. Uh, unison still in play. We are at three or less life, and we have a blocker on field that isn't affected by anything besides Gogeta GTs. So we have things like Wolfang Fish live, King Vegeta's Imposing Presence live, uh, testing the opposition live. We have a bunch of, uh, like almost all of Red's defense is, is, is live right now, along with the fact that we are tapped out at four more energy, so our Z leader is live as well. So if Kai does decide to start going crazy here, we can always fall back into our Z leader. Uh, so we're, we're still here deciding on what the best bet for Kai is. Uh, definitely probably hitting his charge here because um, now that our opponent does have the Gogeta in play, Shin Noble Supremacy is kind of out of the out of the picture. So we do see a charge. Kept the unison in hand here. I'd imagine that's because he wants to do some type of stack in order to get the minus three going. We'll see exactly what he decides to do here. Looks like we're doing a pitch top five search for Goku or Vegeta Xeno. It looks like we're just going to find the same card but the prettier version. Uh, definitely want that one in hand instead. It's more valuable. Uh, we're going to use it right away, of course. Overrealm. Get the leader effect, get the unison effect, and then we're going to activate its effect itself in order to remove itself from the battle area to the warp in order to draw to and then warp one. Very powerful. Definitely warp that secret rare out of your hand. You definitely get better cards into your hand from your deck, like 5Ks, and then put your secret rare into a place where it can still be played from. Very, very powerful effect there. Um, it looks like we are starting off with a um, minus 3 here. Getting our two cards into our hand. We haven't activated an Overwhelm yet, so the minus 3 isn't going to affect Wormhole on the card. Looks like now we're, no, we, well, there's our Shin, Shin Noble Supremacy we wish we would have seen last turn. Uh, he came out, he did a thing, I don't think he's going to offer all too much uh, value for the deck right now. We're going 1 and 2 Z energy to go into the pan. Oh, 
Oh, wait, he did over him yet. He did over him. I apologize. I said he didn't over him yet, but he did. He started off his turn by activating the three cost Goku over him in order to warp himself from the battle area to draw to him, uh, pit, uh, warp one. So he did lose wormhole there. That is a downfall to that minus three. You definitely got to make sure that you're lining up your over before using that minus three. So here we are going into turn five for Gogeta. The other Gogeta does just pop himself, so I imagine we just probably go directly into another one. Starting off by swinging with the Unison, we are above five markers, so if, uh, if we do get into battle, of course, we will just go directly into the minus, and then from there, we'll force all the cards out of Kai's hand before going into anything uh, bigger. So it does look like we're going two energy for support of the Dark Empire, of course, negating the attack and then playing a blocker. And then from there, we plus up, play a battle card to draw a card. And then from here, I imagine we just go directly into another big boy. Yep, so out comes another Gogeta. Pitching a Vegeta and a Goku to the drop area. We will draw one card, pay our four energy. And then we will swing into the leader, force our opponent to pitch... Uh, as much combo power as possible from his hand. We're at 25, 35, and we just need one more 5k. There's our 40. Now we are out of that attack. Going directly into uh, the pitch Vegeta in order to look for Goku. Swinging with the leader to draw a card and then play a body. Nothing to play, but it looks like we will combo that off and then pay one in order to go into the Vegeta double strike. or the Goku double strike, I do apologize, and now we are swinging for 20k double strike, and now we can dump our entire hand into this attack to force our opponent into a position where it's either your hand or my hand, and I think a Gogeta will win this battle more than likely. So we're at 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, that's like a good 90, a good 90, 95,000. We'll see if Kai can get out of it, but I don't think he can. It looks like Gogeta does get this game, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this battle. If you did, remember to hit all those buttons for me. Like, comment, subscribe. Hit that bell so you never miss a video. We'll see you guys next time.